Since 2017, South Australian Commissioner for Children and Young People, Helen Connolly, has been asking young people their opinions about a range of topics as part of her work to protect their rights. When the Commissioner asked children what they thought about gender equality, this is what they said. I want grown up to know what it is like when kids get bullied because of their gender. The world will be better if females and males are treated with the same respect. The world will be better if we could stop catcalling. It hurts people and it hurts the world. I worry about people not letting girls do the stuff that boys do. The world would be better if girls had more rights. The Commissioner has also heard firsthand from students that gender stereotyping is still widespread across schools and classrooms. Boys grow up to make big changes in the world. Boys are more creative and more imaginative than girls, as girls don't think outside the box. I want grown-ups to know that boys are not always the smartest and that boys don't always have better ideas. Gender bias and inequality has a direct impact on young women's aspiration and expectations of their family and working lives. Everybody will tell me these days that gender doesn't make a difference anymore. Then they'll buy me pink clothes, give me some Barbies and ask me if I want to be a nurse. Girls from an extremely young age are given babies to play with and care for. This shows girls the path of growing up and having a destiny of just being a mum. Girls are forced into a stereotype that is very hard to break, due to the majority of girls being taught this. Issues related to menstruation and period pain continue to have an impact on the participation of young women. Many girls skip days off school due to having their periods, because it is too difficult to deal with at school, and you don't feel as comfortable as you do in your own home. Bullying is huge, especially in the preteen age group. Boys would say things like, are you in your period? You're being a bitch, and other embarrassing and derogatory remarks towards girls in their periods. For this reason, I felt incredibly uncomfortable around my period, when I did and even when I didn't have it. Addressing gender inequality and understanding the 21st century impacts of sexism and gender stereotypes on children and young people's lives today means bringing them into the conversation and really listening.